Okay, so this is uh, basically an isometric engine I'm building on GameMaker. Uh, I'm aiming to capture the feel of uh, classic RPGs like Icewind Dale and Baldur's Gate. So I'm depending on a lot of uh, features. I'm depending a lot on Infinity Engine. That was the engine used for those games. Like I don't have the source code for Infinity Engine, obviously, but uh, I'm trying to imitate uh, what this engine did. So let's get started. Uh, this is the inventory. Uh, you can have your own rules about how the game works. I've put algorithms in there. So uh, like uh, roles. So like for example, I've put uh, a D10 role, not a D20 right now. Uh, okay. Um, okay. When you hover over an item, uh, you'll see you see the description uh, when you click on an item you'll see where it is, it is supposed to go so you can put it there uh, right now the game is paused so see it's paused uh, so you uh, it's a uh, it's real time changing the equipment you can do it while paused um, all right uh, let's see this sword this is a sound sword it's uh, supposed to be like uh, you know it has uh, a sunlight beam in it so it glows in the dark okay uh, some things that are specific to this build uh, like two-handed weapon uh, watch this if I press S you'll see that the weapon is two-handed the shield is on the back if I press S again uh, the shield goes on the offhand uh, defense plan this is a uh, of course you get feedback here and you get feedback in screen you'll see it in battle defense plan is like if you want to evade if you want to block or if you want to tank the hit like uh, do not try to dodge at all because evade costs uh, stamina uh, health like uh, right now it's uh, it's in god mode so the health is so much usually it's around 20 30 like that you can you can make your own custom health and uh, you can choose if you want to have stamina affect the game so right now you can choose your defense plan uh walk or run you know sneak if you want uh, to sneak the player will go into sneak mode um if you press to run sneak is deactivated and you can run all right let's see the battle i'll i'll try to block let's see the first enemy here let's see if we can aggro him you see us yet all right he sees us how the enemies behave like uh you try to run away the enemy if uh, if the enemy is uh, some distance away from you he'll try to run if he's close to you he'll try to walk uh, not right now I haven't clicked on the enemy and uh, you'll see the combat behavior as soon as the player gets attacked he will auto target the enemy you'll get the feedback here too so let's see he blocks and he attacks he blocks again and would you look at that that was a counter hit the counter hit happens when uh, both both uh, actors attack at the same time. Uh, you get feedback for the roles if you want. Uh, you get feedback on screen if you want. Again, uh, so uh, let's uh, two hand the weapon and change the defense plan to evade, and let's aggro these guys. Of course, there's a full day and night cycle here. I'm not gonna click on them. If I want, I can click on them. Right, right now he aims that guy, and uh, if I click on this guy, he'll aim this guy. Counter hit. You can change the priority. Like, uh, okay, this is uh, the game is paused right now. He t he changed stance because I've put in it that uh, after a while, if combat is over, uh, you can change uh, the stance and you're out of combat mode. But the game is still paused. Uh, so yeah you can change if you if you don't want counter hits the combat it's pretty customizable everything is done through scripts and it's pretty much uh, very well explained so uh let's see another thing let's see the bow like we have the bow the pistol the rifle let's try the bow if you try and uh if you see if you click the bow it tells you where to put it uh if i release right now it will also take the shield away because the bow is clearly two-handed. It doesn't uh, change anything if I one-handed two-hand the bow because it's uh, two-handed by default, so it never changes. So let's attack this guy. Do you see the arrow? The game, uh, the pose is uh, real time. The, the the hit will will register only if it touches the base of this character. Like 
I haven't put them there yet, but they have circles around them, like a green circle uh, if it's a party member, red circle if there's enemies and stuff. So he evaded. Uh, I haven't put on yet uh, the the code for uh, getting sneak attacked or uh, not uh, being able, not being aggroed yet. So if they are not aggroed, they won't be able to defend themselves. Uh, the character will try attacking. It's a counter hit, and it happened. All right, let's uh, let me show you something else. Uh, this weapon, for example, the dagger, you, you'll see that uh, both of uh, both of these uh, slots, like the offhand slot and the mainhand slot, are, are lit up. Uh, if I put it in the mainhand, you can use it in the mainhand, or you can use it in the offhand and uh, use the mainhand weapon. So you're dual wielding. If you're dual wielding, uh, like if I press uh, S and change the, the dual wielding, what's the hand? The dagger appears and disappears. Right, right now the character is uh, dual wielding the weapon. So you'll see him have a dual wield stance. But uh, if I change that to, uh, uh, to in a two-handed stance, if I change that to a dual wield stance, like one-handed, he changes the stance. So the stance uh, depends on uh, how you're holding your weapons, what weapons you have on you. Like uh, if you have a staff, the staff, uh, this is a range staff. Uh, the projectile is an arrow, but it will be like a firebolt or something. You see, it changes. Um, so uh, let's try, like, you see that uh, attack speeds and, uh, d and combat bonuses are, are different for every weapon. Like, attack speed slow for the sun sword, which is a bastard sword. The dagger is a small weapon, so the attack speed, it's. Uh, it's supposed to say fast, I have forgot to put that in the description. The items are uh, in the initialization script, in the global enum, and uh, you can use them and change their descriptions however you want. So, you'll see that the player attacks uh, very fast when they got the dagger. Uh, one thing, uh, you cannot, uh, like, right now the character is hit. Right, so if I try to change uh, equipment, you cannot. Uh, it won't let you. It won't let you change anything on you. It won't let you change the weapons. I think I can. It lets you. Yeah, it lets you take off your armor and stuff, but it it doesn't let you change weapons. Uh, it doesn't let you put armor on. So if you want to make yourself worse, like right, right now, okay, you you got hit. You dropped your weapons. You're unarmed. What do you do? Mm, you're going to unarmed combat. It defaults to unarmed combat. And uh, it changes between punches and kicks. Uh, it's uh, it's completely on him. Uh, one hand and two hand doesn't change anything. All right. Um, what else? Uh, pathfinding is uh, the A star algorithm, the default. You know, uh, the enemies uh, tick uh, for a path every like I think every ten steps, but only if uh, the player moves or something. So. It isn't too bad. Uh, I think I should uh, change it to vectors and uh, make it a path only where they are far away, like really far away, and they're within a close distance. Change it to vectors, and if there's an if if there's an object between them, like like this, this is a solid object, then make them make a path. I'll do that. Uh, the the fog of war is uh, done with the surface right now, as are uh, the corpses. Uh, I should put. I should make it with a grid and uh, do some raycast. Uh, the stats change live. If you see here, like uh, if you put on the encumbrance changes, the absorption changes, and uh, so you get enemies here. Uh, I've yet to put on silhouettes uh, for when you're behind objects. I don't know if I want to do it with silhouettes or. With uh, transparency, I think transparency would fit better. Silhouettes uh, wouldn't be so fitting. I'll see about that. Uh, so yeah, this is it so far. You can uh, scroll up the the combat log. Of course, if there's something new, it uh, defaults back down. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, you guys like it. Thank you for watching.